Greetings, men and women of God. I am here with another mandate to pray with you all, to give you what thus saith the Lord in this time, for this time, for this moment. And so today I will be coming from Galatians 5, starting at verse 16. Ending at verse 17. Walking in the Spirit is actually the name of this passage. And it says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these things are contrary the one thing to the other so that ye cannot do the things that you would I'm gonna go down to 18 but if ye be led of the spirit Ye are not under the law. 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these things adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, and lasciviousness. 20, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, and seduction, also heresies. As I was going trying to figure out where God wanted me exactly, I would like to touch on for a second that when God does a thing for you and he keeps his promise, be sure to not idolize that thing. Whatever it took for you to get what it is that God has blessed you with, Understand that it's going to take the same thing to keep it, like prayer, fasting, loving, patience, long-suffering, gentleness, just to throw out a few of the fruits that defines God for who He is. And I need you to understand that in your waiting process, stay in God. Because as you stay in God, He'll give you perfect peace. And He'll give you the ability to cease to do evil and learn to do good. He'll give you the ability to hold out. He'll give you the ability to stand firm and see the salvation of God without getting into your folly and into your flesh because it's so easy to do and for those who say sinning is not fun sinning is fun but when you do things God's way there is a different kind of blessing that's on your covenant like no other and you want God to be pleased with what you do and say how you move and you want him to bless it in a way that you have never seen so today let's walk in the spirit trusting that God is going to come through as he promised not getting in the way with our flesh because he promised us a thing but still working and putting our hands to the plow. Why? Because when that takes place, God's going to just show up 
and show out in your life. So without further ado, I'm going to get into prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. We thank you for keeping us, keeping power, O Father. O God, keeping our minds stayed on you. We thank you for allowing us to, O God, rise above our flesh, O God, through trusting and depending on your word. Because we know that in your word, O God, there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore, which means we don't have to lie and stay into our folly because there is so much in you oh god and even though the enemy may say oh it's hard oh it's taking too long oh no god let us not be weary in our well-doing because god you're going to show up as you promised oh god our thoughts are not your thoughts and our ways are not your ways oh god oh god and you don't show up in time but you show up on time and god i ask that you have your way in every way oh god get into the hearts and minds of men oh god that we may not be conformed to the world world's ideas of what marriage looks like the world's ideas of what waiting looks like the world's ideas of what things oh god we should be doing as your people as your servants as your vessel oh god you are the standard father you are the standard of marriage oh god you are the standard of individuality oh god and as we are waiting on you oh god give us the mindsets and the ability to continue to seek you oh god and worship you oh god in spirit and in truth oh god for we know oh god that you will and shall be with us oh god if you welcome if we welcome you in oh god if we allow you to come in like a mighty rushing wind oh god help us oh god to prepare oh god through your word oh god and have a desire to prepare through your word oh god for the promises that you said that you were going to give to us oh god we take you at your word today oh god because oh god your word is true your word is true it's one thing we can count on oh god and i thank you oh god oh god for being a god that is just oh god for being a god that's loving oh god we bind the spirit of deception oh god we bind the spirit of distraction oh god oh god because you said that oh god that our yokes are easy and our burdens are like god somebody is struggling oh god with the weight of singleness oh god oh god somebody is struggling oh god with if you are going to come through oh god but god i ask that you get into the heart spaces get into the mindsets oh god as they continue to be in your word oh god Prune them through your word, O God. Man and woman, O God. Prune them, O God, through your wisdom. Prune them through your love. Prune them through your peace. Prune them through your joy, O God. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. O Father, you can do all but fail. God, we thank you, O God, for coming through. We thank you, O God, for being, O God, all that we need as we wait patiently on you. We thank you, O God, for kingdom covenant. We thank you, O God, for kingdom marriage. We thank you for doing it, O oh God. We thank you for allowing us to be in divine alignment in this hour, in this moment, O oh God. O oh God, today, O oh God, I decree and declare, O oh God, that every mind, O oh God, that's been wandering, O oh God, shall come forth, O oh God, into the knowledge of you, O oh God, that it may be steadfast, O oh God, and unmovable, O oh God, and always abiding in the works and in the word of the Lord, O oh God. Oh God, because you, oh God, that have begun a good thing, oh God, you shall perform it, oh God, into the ends of the earth, God. You said despise not the days of small beginnings, oh God. God, so let them start somewhere, oh God. And as they begin to start, oh God, God, I ask that you take over with your will, take over with your word, take over with your way as you allow them, 
oh God, to come in, oh God, and welcome you in, oh God, according to their measure of faith, God. We thank you for being gentle with us. We thank you for having mercy on us. Oh God, we don't deserve the blessings, oh God, that you have coming your way, oh Father, to your people, oh God, and to your union, oh God. Oh God, but you, oh God, you are a loving God. Oh God, your de- your death, oh God, qualified us for the blessing, oh God, because you paid it all for our sins, oh God. God, your way is true, oh God, and your way is right, God, and your blessings are sure, oh God. God, and I ask that you have your way, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you for the weight, God. We celebrate for the weight, oh God. We celebrate, oh God, in getting our flesh, oh God, under wraps, oh God. And in divine alignment and in tune with your Holy Spirit. We thank you, O Father. O God, we worship you and we praise you. We adore you, O God, like never before. O God, we thank you, O God, for preparing us, O God, for what's to come. O God, we thank you, O God, for kingdom marriages, O God, because we're going to generate kingdom wealth, O God. O God, we thank you, O God, for the end time harvest, O God, because you're doing a new thing, O God, to prove, O God, and show forth your glory, O God, in the sight of man, O God. So we thank God for quick union coming together through your word and your way we thank you oh god oh god for quick things happening oh god once the marriage oh god is established through your words and your way god oh god and we thank you oh god in faith oh god as we believe oh god that we are walking in the upright oh god according to your word god teach us oh god how to wait on you the way that you want us to wait teach us how to be more like you oh god the way that your word says oh god god we thank you for honoring marriage Oh, God, on today, we thank you for honoring marriage, God. You honor marriage, oh, God. You and your love for the church is the perfect example, oh, God. We thank you, oh, God. Oh, God, you said, oh, God, that you would send us, oh, God, the our heart's desires, oh, God, if we delight ourselves in you, oh, God. So as we delight ourselves in you, oh, God, God, we ask that you continue to build us in our most holy faith, O oh God, through your word, O oh God, and through these prayers, O oh God, and even the prayers after these prayers. O oh God, we thank you, O oh God. We thank you, Father. We praise you, O oh God. Your Holy Spirit, O oh God, is what we desire, is what we long for, O oh God, and is what's going to sustain us, O oh God, through this prayer period of waiting through this period of 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 anticipation through this period of oh god just believing and knowing that you're going to come through god so i thank you yeshua i thank you today i worship and i praise your name that your will shall be done and the perfected will of the father we give up our wills for yours knowing that your blessings are sure. God, we don't seek your hand, oh God, but we seek your face. And we are confident in knowing, oh Father, that you shall perform, oh God, and not only shall you perform, that you shall complete everything that your word has set it out to do. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, you are worthy to be praised. Amen. Peace and blessings. Grace and peace be unto you.